hi what's up guys welcome back to my flutter tutorials and in this video we are going to cover something which is uh, much awaited and many of you have already requested me to make this video but uh, the thing is i was waiting for something better to implement for this video but uh, as of now we don't have a perfect solution but uh, yeah this is a working solution so i will demonstrate so basically we are talking about google maps here and uh, in this video i'll show you how to integrate google maps inside your flutter application so there are some uh, pros and cons of using uh, google maps uh, inside our application as uh, uh, in this flutter uh, so we'll talk about that so what we are going to do so as of now you can see i have this uh, uh, boilerplate code which comes with the flutter app creation so what i'm going to do first of all i'll just uh, remove all of this code so let me just uh, delete all of uh, the stuff from here and uh, that's it okay so we have something like this and then what we can do we can um let's uh, make here a stateful widget maybe what what do you guys want to make here okay so here we can say new material app okay and then we can have this as false and then we can have a home so where we can say map page okay that looks good so now here i will make a stateful widget which is a map page okay and inside it we will have a scaffold and for the time being that's what we have okay so now main thing is how to implement uh, uh, the google map so basically as of now there is uh, no widget available which you can integrate inside your flutter application which can show google maps uh, uh, like uh, you need to go to uh, another activity uh, in which you can see the map but map as a widget is not yet available and I, I don't know whether uh, I, I guess it is not available but if you think like it is available then please let me know as well in the comments or from anywhere else so we'll discuss what is available and how to implement that so we are going to uh, integrate a library for that and that library is map view so it will give us uh, the uh, static um, you can say static AP, uh, the static map view which we can show as a widget so uh, that's what we are going to do so in the pubspec.yml here in the dependency you need to add one library which is uh, one second map underscore view okay this should be map okay so this will give us that library which we are talking about okay so um, this is one thing now for uh, uh this this is done okay right okay so after that you need to do some more changes so what you can do you will go to this android folder okay and uh, in the android folder in the app in this source we have this android manifest dot xml where we will uh, enter all the permissions so we need the location permission and uh, the course location permission so that because we want to access the location in our map so that's what we are going to do so we will copy that location here and you can see so you can uh, if you are using android studio then it will be pretty uh, easily available or you can just copy paste the code from the source code which is available on github okay so this is what uh, you need to add first of all and after that in this uh, application tag which you can see uh, here below this uh, permission you need to add some meta tags okay so what you can do uh, below this application we will put two meta tags which is the metadata tags okay one is the this uh, google com dot google dot android dot maps version 2 api key and here we will pass our api key which i will just uh, demonstrate how to get and below that this is just a gms version so th this is actually google play services version so here we will get this uh, version from 
um, from the Android library itself okay so we don't have to worry about that okay so this is what we have as of now and after that we need to add one more activity where we will show our live map because uh, why we are adding this activity because as of now there is nothing like of flutter widget for this map so we need to implement an activity for showing it into the android so this is what we have and now you will go to this build.gradle and below this uh, class path you need to add one more dependency which is the kotlin dependency so because the project is implemented in kotlin uh, the library is implemented in kotlin so you need to add this kotlin gradle plugin okay so that's it so for this this is the uh, thing you need to do for android for ios uh, again you need to do uh, some changes like you have to go to this ios folder inside this we have this runner and then we have this info.plist here we need to add something which is a key and uh, its value okay so let's uh, let's add it somewhere here okay so there would be a key and there would be a string for that so let me just copy paste it here so this is the key which is the ns location when in use users description okay whenever we will access the location then it will ask the user with this uh, message using location to display on a map okay so this is the string which we need to use and this is the key so that's that's the uh, part where what what we need to do okay so this is the important stuff now we will go to the web okay so here we can see we this is our flutter group on facebook so if you want you can join it otherwise we also have this repository so please make sure to check it out it has a lot of flutter examples so now moving to our google maps so first of all you need to go to console.google.com okay and here oh this is not reachable what happened okay so i missed something console.developers it should be um one second developers.google.com and here you will have a lot of uh, your project so you if you have existing project then you can select one or you can create a new project so i have some projects here now you have to go to this enable apis and service and here from here you can uh, enable this uh, this api is still uh, by default enabled so let me just disable it and then we will enable it again i am just doing it just uh, so that you can understand so when you will click on maps sdk for android you need to enable it okay then uh, again once again okay and after that we need to also one second guys what's happening okay so we have enabled this uh, google uh, uh this maps sdk and then we will enable this uh, for ios as well okay so we will enable it okay it will take some time fine i guess it will work now okay so uh, till the time it is enabling we can go to view all and one more api we need to imp uh, enable is this maps static api because we can show this static uh, map inside our widget so that was uh, that's what we can do so it is by default enabled the, this is not enabled by default i have actually enabled it earlier so you need to enable it and uh, yeah this is also enabled so we have enabled three apis one for android one for ios and one for static map so uh, this is one thing this is one thing and uh, apart from that uh, what we need to do we can go to now here uh, this uh, uh, api credentials okay so here credentials you need to create a credential or you need to create an api key so if you will click on the api key it will ask whether you want to restrict your key it will give you an app, uh, api key but you can restrict uh, your key so for development or for demonstration uh, unrestricted key will work but uh, if uh, you are uh, doing anything for production 
so you should restrict this key then you need to enter here your application id you need to generate a um, sha i guess so after that you can do that okay so as of now i'm not going to do that so i will just copy my uh, api key which i have created so that's what you need to do that's all so now we will go back to android manifest.xml here we have this com.google.android.maps key and here we will paste our api key okay finally we are done so now we are done with the setup part and uh, yeah so we are done with android setup with the ios setup as well so why we enabled the static maps api uh, static maps api because we can only show static maps inside our flutter app as a widget as of now i don't know if uh, there is something else apart from that because uh, i have no idea about that so if you think that there is something else by which you can show uh, your the google map in widget so please let me know about that okay so um now before using anything or before accessing anything we need to set the api key so inside our ma uh, main method let me just uh, uh, remove that uh, shorthand operator now here we need to set the api key as well for our uh, in our flutter project because we have set it that in our android but uh, we need to uh, do the implementation for ios as well so here all, again we will set the api key so first for that we need to import the map view so it has this map view dot uh, uh, underscore map view map view dot dot should be okay so now uh, before run app we can say map map view should be there okay map view dot set api key and here we will paste our api key again okay so this is what we need to do as of now okay now um, we can also um, show the map view okay so before showing that let me just uh, write some code so that uh, you can get a better understanding how to do all the stuff so as of now because i have uh, i have to create this ui for this so what we can do let's create a ui for this so here in this scaffold first of all we will create an app bar so here we can say app bar title and here we can say uh, text google maps okay so let's also write flutter flutter google maps okay that is fine and then we can what we what we can do we can have a body as well one second guys okay in that we can have a column where we can say uh, let's make it start first of all okay so below this we can have uh, some children so here we can say um, let's take something like uh, maybe in the center let's do something like this okay uh, here we can have this children and it will take a child property so here we can pass the container okay and this in this container uh, this is our child where we will show some text and this is some random text before um, uh, seeing why I have used this because uh, what we are going to do and in fact we don't need to do this let me just remove this I have done something wrong here because I didn't want to do this exactly so uh, here what we will do first of all we will take a container okay and we will give it some height let's uh, give it something like two 300 maybe okay and then we can have a child and here we will take a stack a stack for you know overlapping one ui with another so how we are going to do that so here we can say a new center and here a child we will take a text where we will see we will say that uh, show map here 
okay so so or or we can say that map should show here okay and when our map will be ready we will just overlap by using this stack and on the top of this text we will show our uh, this uh, what do we say it uh, google maps okay uh, static maps basically so let me just uh, align it as well so we can say text line or center this is fine now below this we can have uh, let me just uh, give it a little bit padding after that okay or oh, we actually we have some kind of padding available right in the center widget I guess so okay let me just try padding now we don't have that okay so just uh, forget about it okay so we have this thing ready now after that what we can say and uh, this and I have this tags let's wrap it with some container as well so that uh, we can give the padding directly here so let's give it a padding okay and uh, let's give it a padding of 20 and then what we can do we can have something like oh, one second after this we can have something like uh, uh, a new ink well because when we will click on this static map we want to show the real map okay so here we can say child new center and here we can say um child okay so here in the center we want to show the um the map static map so we need to say we want to show the image so it will be shown as an image so here we will write uh, write the source after few seconds maybe okay and it has a on tap property on clicking on that we will show the map okay by calling the android activity which we declared in our manifest okay so we are done with this part first of all now after that we have this container okay this containers work is done now below this we can have some more property okay so first of all let's uh, have a normal container which will share uh, which will tell us that uh, tap the map to interact okay so this is i have taken from uh, the uh, repository this google map or uh, not the repository exactly this library which we are using so you can check that code there as well and now we can also uh, you know uh, have the camera positions and all so for camera positions you can use this uh, uh, normal camera position dot center dot latitude and everything like that so as of now we don't need that i guess so let's just remove it for the time being but we will see how we can achieve that and sorry for the background noise which you must be getting so let's go to this uh, state class and here we can say map view map view so we will create a new instance of this map view so map view is a class where we need this instance and if you want the camera position then you can also define the camera position here okay so like this and now we will use the uh, we need the static map so we will say static map provider we will make a variable and how we will get this we can uh, create a new instance of this static map provider we need to pass the api key so this api key i can save it somewhere let's make here a variable api key okay and then we can pass this api key here as well and then we can pass here as well okay so we have the api key we have the static map provider now um, we need the static map uri okay so this uri means that uh, um, this is like uh, you can see 
a passed URL such as an URL. So this is basically we need to show the image of that particular uh, static map. So uh, now what we can do, we can say let's say static map URI. Okay, this will work. And now uh, we can also add marker to our app. So that's that what we will see later. So this is done. Now um, we can override one method here, which is the init state. Let's and here we can set the camera position if you want. So let's set the camera position, new camera position, and it will ask for the center. So as of now, you can get uh, something with the library, which is two centers. One is the Portland, one is the center of USA. So you can change that. Okay. So you need to implement your own location class. Basically, there is nothing inside that. So let me just show you. So they are basically static uh, locations. Okay, you are which you are getting from location that so here you need to just throw your uh, this uh, longitude and latitude and you are done so you can use any location here so we can also say uh, here like new location and you can pass the latitude and long longitude so let me just uh, uh, see what's the so let me just maps let's me let me open the map and uh, this is my location here okay so okay so I have this longitude and latitude if you see here so let me just copy and paste it here okay one second what's what's happening is not saving oh what happened okay so let me just copy it again and then we can paste it okay so here we have our this location where I am and then we can also uh, give it a zooming value so let's uh, give it 2.0 maybe okay so we have the camera position now now we need the static map URI okay which we just uh, uh, declared so what we can do we will ask the static map provider which we created as a, uh, this is instance of uh, the static map, map provider class and here you can have this uh, methods that get image from uri from map okay so or or you have get static uri so as of now we want the static uri because we don't have um, access to map as of now so here again you need to give the um this uh, Send, uh, location so I'll, I'll just copy the above location and will paste it here and then again it is asking for the zoom level okay so zoom level you can give let's say give it 12 then so also has some uh, this optional parameter so you can also give a height so let's give it a height of 400 then we can give it a width as well so let's give it a width of uh, 900 maybe you can change it accordingly how you want and then it is asked for map type so we can say hybrid road map so we have a lot of options here so I guess it is not visible but it's a hybrid uh, road map then it has a satellite so this is you can see now so satellite terrain road map hybrid so we are going to use road map because that is what is useful most of the time so now we have this static map uri which is getting this uh, static uri and this location will be shown to this uh, map uh, in the roadmap view type okay so you can change the location again okay it's totally your choice or you can get the location from the device or uh, so you need to implement this location thing and that is different part okay so this is done now here uh, we have to implement this show map method and uh, before that if we have this uh, uh, there, there where it is we have this uh, image dot network where we haven't defined the source now we can define the source so we can call here a static map uri and uh, we can pass as dot to string so it will give us that particular thing now we can also uh, have the camera position so below this uh, 
container we can have another container which will show us the uh, camera position okay because we have already fetched the camera position if you remember just uh, a few seconds ago maybe okay so one second so now we have this uh, you can see we have just a top margin 25 and then we have this camera position dot center dot latitude and the longitude and the zoom level and which we are showing in a text okay that's it so now if i will click on this show map then something will happen which we will implement later let's run this app first of all and let's see what happens as of now so let me just run it one second guys okay so it is running now i need to open it although and here i have this uh, you can see we have this real phone okay and uh, it should be implemented so by after implementing the static map when we will click on that map we will see the real map which is actually an uh, android activity so we'll see that and uh, just wait for a few minutes and we will be ready to go so basically what we have done we have created an api key first of all then we have this map view library from it we are asking for the camera position by giving a location by ourselves it is a static location as of now you can change it or you can access the device location this is totally your choice now then we have the static map uri which we are getting from this static map provider and we are passing the location and it will give the image of that uh, uh, particular map which which we want to show and that image is not the real time image or you can get the real time image but that image is what you can show as a flutter widget but you cannot show the real map as a flutter widget as of now and this is my information so here you can see we have this uh, map available now we have the camera position as latitude long longitude and zoom level as well and if i will click on it nothing will work okay so this is working fine now let me just show you what to do to show the real map when i click on it okay so here on tap we haven't implemented yet so what, wait a second so here we will call the show map method which is not yet created so we need to create this so we will go on the top here and then we can implement this show map so i will write show map okay this is the method here i will ask the map view uh, we have the map view dot it has this show method okay now it will ask for map options okay so we don't have any map option as of now so what we can do we can create a new map option one second okay so we can say new map option okay and then it will take some parameters so first one is map view type so again the same map view type you want to show so i'll select normal which is the normal map view then we have this uh, initial camera position okay so initial camera position will take a new camera position you can say and then it will ask for the center and zoom same thing so what we will do we will copy it from here okay and again we can we could make uh, a better code by writing it somewhere on the top but again you don't have to worry about that you can fix it by your own i guess so uh, we have this uh, initial camera position now what else it takes show user location okay so <clears throat> what it will do sorry so if i will make it true then it will give you a button by tapping on this that you will get the current location of the user okay so that is the purpose of this show user location and then you can have a title as well so uh, you can write here visited location okay anything you want okay or recent location uh, let me just write recent location that makes sense okay so now uh, this is what we have right so this this is how we can show the map okay fine so now uh, let me just uh, open this 
okay now let's click on this map and you can see it is first of all asking me for the permission so this permission is uh, automatically implemented by uh, this library which we have used so now we will allow it and you can see it is showing us this location okay but it is not <laughs> that much zoomed so what we will do rather than 2 we can say here 15 so now we will save it let's just go back and click on it again and now it's a zoomed version you can see and this is my location I can zoom it more or whatever I want so this is you can see this is a new screen which is basically now an Android activity which you are watching it has the title as recent location which is again a toolbar of that activity so that is how it is implemented and uh, this is actually we can actually uh, in the future we can see that uh, this will come as a widget as well or somebody will implement it or i will also try to do the same so now let's let's talk about something which is which are markers you can again show the markers if you want so for that we need to have some markers right so here what we can do let me just go to this okay so here on the top we will create some markers so what we can so say we can have a list of uh, we can access the marker from uh, this library itself and here we can have let's name them markers okay and now we can specify some markers here so let me just make a list of markers okay so now the first marker would be new marker okay it will take an id so we will give it an id of one it will take an uh, title okay so what i am going to do so i am at this location so let me just uh, take this location okay and i will show uh, this locations uh, this location as a markup in my map okay so let me just um let me just access this okay can i get the longitude and lo latitude from here one second okay uh, one second guys So this is the latitude and longitude which we have. So now here in the latitude and longitude I will paste this and I can say this is a BSR rest to rent. Okay. So this is my first marker which I want to show. After that uh, similarly I can make more markers. I can in fact give it a color. So it should have a property. Yeah, this has a property color so let's give it a color like uh, amber maybe so let's give it an amber color and then we can have a second marker as well which we will give the id as 2 now let's uh, select some other nearby marker so here at this location maybe it is fine okay so we can call it let's say let's say anything like flutter institute okay uh, this is fake again okay so you don't have to uh, mention the same thing and now i will paste this longitude and latitude and now color i will give it a color let's say uh, purple okay purple is fine so we have two markers now now uh, what if i want to uh, show the markers okay so what we can do uh, we will go to our show map method and here after this uh, map show we can say uh, we can make a variable in fact let's say variable sub okay and here we can say map view dot it has uh, on map ready okay and then we can listen for the change okay so it's it has a listener and here uh, we can specify something like this 
okay so basically this is a subscription a stream subscription which we need to um, subscribe to so now um, what we can say we can say map view dot set markers okay and in fact we could do it this you don't have to you know listen to this uh, on map tab because uh, uh, this uh, uh, yeah this is on map tab because this is something which will be keep updating in the background so if you want to implement it if you want to check uh, the real time changes in the map then you need to implement this so set markers here we need to pass the markers so this is how we will pass the markers and let me just remove this so to make this code a little bit more easy to read for you so we, we can implement this sometime later to get the real time locations okay and so this is how we will set the marker okay now let me just uh, uh, open this uh, app again and let me just again click on this button uh, we we cannot see any marker let's do a fresh restart so that uh, we can have some more information maybe okay so it is saying map should show here so as of now it is not able to fetch the map now it will fetch it it must be doing something okay so map is now available so that is why we have used stack now we have the camera position and everything now let's click on it and now it should so it is still not showing me the marker why it is happening because uh, again we need to implement that subscription for um, listening to this particular thing uh, that will show the marker okay so what we can do guys we can listen to that subscription and then what we will do so maybe let me just uh, copy that particular thing again and we can just uh, click here and add that this marker okay so yeah this is fine and we can also say map view dot zoom to fit we can give it a padding maybe 100 okay and let's just say padding okay so we have this map view again let's try this now without any adding any subscription okay it is not still working let me just perform a full restart then we will see if this is working or not it should work I guess uh, let's wait for a few seconds okay if the markers are still not showing let me just restart it again i don't know what's the problem so we need to subscribe to it first i guess that's that's why it should show the marker without even subscribing to it i guess i don't know why it is not working let's just do it again and it is not even uh throwing any kind of error so let's let's see what is actually if we are doing something wrong with this i don't know mm. so it should have worked but uh, i don't know why this is not working but it should have worked and uh, So what we can do apart from that let's just set the state as well so that uh, you know we could make this thing let's just remove this particular code here and now let's just uh, try to re rerun this code and uh, after that it should work i don't know why it is not working as of now let's click on it it is showing the location it is showing our location but it is not still showing the marker i don't know what is the issue here this is h oh now it is showing the marker guys 
by doing some zooming it is showing the marker here you can see bsr restaurant it is little bit far from uh, where i am so now if i zoom out then you can see we have this two markers flutter institute and this bsr restaurant so this is how we can implement these markers so we should have given them a little bit zoom maybe so that is why it was not visible so this is how you can implement the map and these are the pretty uh, useful things which i just show you and if you want to uh, receive the continuous location then you need to listen to this okay so this is how you will do it and uh, that's it i hope you enjoyed this video and once uh, this uh, fl uh, map as a flutter widget will arrive then obviously i will uh, let you know and i'll make a video on that so that's it guys and thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber sorry for the background noise also press the bell icon if you want to get the future updates and i'll see in the next video